Sacramento City Council's tackling the housing and homelessness crisis in a new way. Tomorrow, council members are set to vote on a multi-million dollar project to fund hundreds of new affordable housing units. Roxana Elias explains why this could be part of a permanent solution and why others are skeptical. The city of Sacramento is working on a resolution to permanently help the unhoused. Housing really is the upstream intervention that we need. Um, people end up on the street for a variety of reasons, but not being able to find housing they can afford is one of them for a lot of people. On Tuesday, city council members will vote on approving $35.4 million in funding for 820 new affordable housing units. That includes transitional housing beds in seven projects throughout the city. We've taken the money we've raised through the Measure U, through the federal funds, and we're putting it directly into the production of over 800 additional units. But it really, it's, it's 2,759 in total when you count what we've already funded that hasn't been built. Mayor Daryl Steinberg says he expects Sacramento will see the significant increase in housing that people have been calling for. We are very cognizant of making sure the housing that we're building is connected to the community, reinvesting and redeveloping on our commercial corridors, and ensuring that people are well connected to transit. And that they can access services. But homeless advocates like Bob Erlenbush are skeptical this will fully aid all the unsheltered homeless. We're in a crisis, and this does very little, This what they vote on tomorrow, even though it's a feel-good measure, um, it's a it's a small it's a small baby step towards creating affordable housing, but not anywhere close to the need. He says not only for homeless people, but for minimum wage workers. If this is approved, the new units are expected to start opening up next year, and the city will also launch a new loan program to create investment returns for city government funds.